Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome and welcome to another Christmas special edition for the year of 2021 for the month of December. Of course, when are we gonna have Christmas? Today's topic is gonna be my top 10 sunscreen as I spoil alert last week. So if you haven't watched last week's sunscreen video, I'll leave the link here somewhere and I've leave that whole playlist just so if you are watching it after the Christmas season, you can just enjoy the whole playlist and enjoy some like full on sunscreen videos. Um, this is the time that I go through everything. I went through all of them and I pick up 10 as if I can only have 10 sunscreen in my collection. I know that's still a lot, but I want to include as many as possible so I don't mix it out. Otherwise, I feel like unfair for the ones I never get the chance to mention. If you like this type of video, don't forget to give today's videos a like and maybe consider subscribe and don't forget to check uh, the other videos at the end of this one. Alright, without further ado, let's just dive into it. I've got all in front of me. I'm just quickly counting through that I actually got 10, not more or less. And to my surprise, I got almost half chemical sunscreen, half mineral sunscreen. I thought I would have more chemical sunscreen than physical ones, but no, it was pretty good even sort of results. I love that very much, to be honest. There's no particular order for today's video, so I'm gonna close my eyes and grab some randomly and talk you guys through it. Okay, it's a big bottle. Oh, I already can feel this. This is the Derma Veen Daily Nourishing Body Moisturizer SPF 50 Plus Sports Spectrum UVA UVB Sunscreen, giving us four hours water resistant, as not a greasy formula, and is a fragrance-free version. Each of this bottle give you guys 200 gram cream, super super big size, definitely the best one to use on a body. You don't feel like you're wasting the money or going through too quickly. Super good and it's so moisturizing on the body. It's like a body lotion plus sunscreen. It's perfect for the summer. If you someone will take a shower in the morning and you hate the fact that you have to do moisturization and then sunscreen, just go with this one, like absolutely amazing. If I ever go outside for travel, I'll definitely take this one. This one can actually bring two things all at once. I really enjoy this one. Probably the only downside is it's a chemical sunscreen, so if you have a super sensitive body skin, then maybe it's not the best. And it's not tested on animal, made in Australia, Australian brand, very proud of this one. Definitely highly recommend it. All right, next up. Oh, I think I know this. Oh, yes, my favorite. The Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizer Matte is their invisible line. And we have SPF 50 plus, paraben free, suitable for sensitive skin, UVA, UV bulk spectrum protection. It also contains aloe vera and vitamin E. The only downside for this one, apart from it's a chemical sunscreen, it doesn't contain any water resistance or uh, what is called waterproof um, formula. So it's perfectly for use in the office or if you know you won't get much of sweat for that day. Say if you're driving in the car, you have your air con on, sun is still coming through the windows, but you're not sweating, so this is gonna be perfect for all those occasions. I absolutely love this, and they also have a big size bottle that you can use it on your body. I've never tried that one. I've heard some people saying the formula is slightly different. I never get a chance, so I'm not quite sure, but I really enjoy this to use it under the makeup as a prep step as well. If you like me doing a lot of makeup like every day on a daily basis, and you want something quite matte, hate that greasy sunscreen feeling, this is a really good one to go for, and a lot of the male, friends that I know are really enjoying this one as well because it just doesn't feel so greasy, you know, it's just a, like applying nothing but it's actually good sun protection. Alright, next up. What's this? Um, another Cancer Console. Is this some sort of destiny <laughs> meant to be? Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizer Matte Zinc Lotion. Now we come into the first one of my favorite pure mineral sunscreen and this one doesn't contain any tint on it. It's perfect for a non-tinted formula pure zinc sunscreen. It's really hard to create without white cast and a really light lotion texture. I think they do achieve it. We've got 27% zinc oxide, pretty, pretty high concentration, really, really good. SPF 50 paraben free, contains all of our environment E. UVA, UVB, both spectrum protection, like always. This one also gives two hours water resistance. So it's actually, in terms of 
like claiming and cover all the aspects better than the one that I just mentioned. But because it's a pure mineral sunscreen, you will have a little bit shine and the consistency will be a little bit thicker than the one I literally just mentioned. So it depends on your preference. Like I would prefer the other one since I don't have a super sensitive skin. But if I know my skin is undergoing some sensitivities, allergic reaction, I'll reach for this one. And I know it's going to work perfectly exactly the same. And it's a pure mineral, non-tinted virgin. It doesn't affect the makeup that I apply on afterwards. All right. Next up, a little bit more pricier this one, but still very affordable. Oh, this is the Reef sunscreen, right? I know this chunky packaging. There are coconut sunscreen SPF 50. This is a dry touch lotion. This one has two hours water resistance. Again, UVA, UVB bulk spectrum. And this is a chemical sunscreen. It's actually a huge size bottle, 150 ml. You can definitely use it all throughout your body as well. But because it claims to have coconut, so it have that coconut scent. If you hate fragrance, then this is definitely a one to avoid. I love this one when it finishes on your face. It gives a bit of, just a bit of shine finish. I really, really love this. And I think it's going to be a good under uh, makeup primer as well. If you want that sort of natural glow, it's not going to be illuminating, but if it's a natural, healthy, radiant glow, it's a really good one to go for. And to use this throughout my body, to have that sort of shine when the sun shines directly to us, I, I think it's really, really good. Um, it's very affordable as well. I think I mentioned when I first tested out, my mom bought it for me because she knew I was going through sunscreen review. So thank you again, mom. That was really good. Good find and I probably wouldn't purchase myself because I'm not a fan of coconut but it turns out to be one of my favorite and this is the first sort of like a dry patch finish the cancer console one is matte finish it comes almost like dry but matte is just appearances of it dry is the feel of it so I, I I sometimes get mixed up with these two definitions so when I say a dry touch I mean when I feel it I can't not but I can maybe still see some shine when it's matte as in I don't care how it feels on the skin but it looks matte if that makes sense I think so all right next up banana boat sunscreen am I right good on me simple protect sensitive face SPF 50 plus this is also a pure mineral sunscreen with no tint. I've tested out the tinted version and it's not one of my favorite. The clear version actually really, really good and I received this from Bellabox. So I did not know they do a clear version before I receiving this. We contains 25% zinc oxide. It's a oil-free version so it won't clot into the pores and is an also hypoallergic formula. UVA, UVB bulk spectrum protection. They contains two hours weather resistance as well. This 50 gram here compared to the 50 ml, I love this packaging. I say that every single time when I talk about this, this is more travel friendly. If you go into the gym, put it into a toilet tray, you know, go for a travel business trip, it's, it's perfect size. And for banana boat for the price and for a pure mineral zinc sunscreen, I think this is actually really good. It's definitely going to be a little bit oily compared to the cancer console. This one having a more creamy sort of texture this you definitely feel like you apply something and you can see it because it gives that shine but it's no white cast and it's nothing too greasy so i actually quite enjoyed it i was tossing around between this one and their banana bird body lotion the one the body sunscreen in the big bottle but it turns out to like the derma being a little bit more and i have the reef one which i can use this throughout my body so i thought i'll just put in another zinc pure mineral sunscreen in this top 10. all right next one I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, the New Day Skin. So the New Day Skin, I always bring two because they have two different scents, but to be honest, they're actually the same product, just give you two different flavor. Um, one is called Happy Days, the other one's called Good Vibes. Both of these is their SPF 50 Daily Face Cream and it's got 100 ml in each. This is an Australian brand and not tested on animals, reef safe, ocean safe, no parabens, no PABA. So it's a really, really good small company here in Australia and they only do, well, when I was checking last time, they only have the sunscreen. Like this is the one and only products they've got. I really enjoy it. It has a bit of tint, but it was so slight that it's just gonna create that natural skin look on you. You can still use the makeup underneath. It wouldn't change the foundation shade I use because the tint is so minimal but you can also just use it to create this lovely nice you know radiant skin like healthy looking skin no coverage though so i usually pair this with my concealer and i'm all good to go if it's on a day when i'm not filming my sister loved this one as well she loved the vanilla one flavor more because she thinks it smells just so 
yummy and sweet. So for the kids, if you're not quite sure if they're allergic to fragrance, don't use these ones. But if you know they're alright with it, this is actually something making them to enjoy and wanting to use sunscreen. That's something I found out after I chat with my sister. She doesn't mind scent at all. She wanted to have a good one. So she wanted to put it on her face and on her body every day when she used it. So there you go. There's a reason why we have a fragrance there. Both of these are SPF 50 and pure mineral sunscreen. If I haven't mentioned already, um, they contain 20 22.75% zinc oxide, so I'm really impressed. The only downside I would say, you can't purchase at the pharmacy or the local chemist. You have to go on their website. They give you free shipping if you buy three of these. So I guess you have to share with friends or if you know already really enjoy this one, you can stock it up for the next coming up year. Let's talk about this Warwick's Clear Zinc SPF 30 sunscreen. UVA, UVB, both spectrum protection, very high protection, tested for four hours for the resistance, light, easy absorption, and dermatologically tested. This is one of the super, super impressed the findings, and I'm currently testing out their chemical sunscreen. I really love it. I think the only complaint that I've got is an SPF 30, but for the brand of Woolworths, for their price, for the size that you got this photo here, we got 100 gram. That wasn't gonna be a complaint, that's just me. Because if you know SPF 30 versus SPF 50, the differences are very minimal. But the reason why we wanna go super high SPF is because we know we're not gonna apply the adequate or the actual exact amount of it on the face, on the body. And there's gonna be area we apply less, not evenly over distributed on your face. So that is why we wanna go for a higher SPF. But if you can make sure you apply quite a fairly good amount of it, this is a really, really good option. There is no white cast. There is a tiny bit of whitening. I've got you guys ask me a lot and quite frequently whether this is going to cause a white cast. I can only speak for my skin and I can only guess for like a deeper and lighter skin tones. I guess it's easier to guess for the lighter skin tones because I know what it feels on me. But for deeper skin tones, every shade would make a slightly different. So the advice here is just based on me personally and how I assume how it looks on a darker skin. Skin. So I hope I'm not misleading you guys, but I also really want you to try to help if it's possible. Next one is also a great family that I got this year and was recommended by you guys. This is the Hamilton Everyday Face SPF 50 Plus Very High Protection Sunscreen. It has a matte invisible finish and coverage. Invisible coverage means pretty much no coverage. And suits for a variety of skin tones, UVA, UVB, both spectrum, and it's also very moisturizing formula. So the tint it gives is actually very similar to the New Day skin ones, um, but this is a more lightweight, easy absorb formula. Because it's a chemical sunscreen, so they can make the texture super, super lightweight, and that's what I love about it. And because it's a matte finish, it's almost gonna beat my cancer console. This one also claimed having no water resistant, and because it's having a more lighter sort of finished texture compared to the cancer console, I've got a feeling if you're going out and you happen to sweat, this one's gonna warm off a little bit quicker, but I really enjoy that super, super light finish. It's literally like applying nothing even more invisible than the Cancer Console one. And yet it gives that teeny tiny tint that you can just go along by itself and you don't have to worry putting on any makeup. All right, the next two are something that I found when I reviewed my sunscreen last year and they're actually kind of forget in the drawers of my sunscreens. And I, when I go through everything, I found this too, I'm like, I cannot believe I haven't been using it or I haven't been mentioning it. So this is a time to give another shout out. They're really, really good products. The first is another um, Australian brand. It's the Carotin Aqua Velvet Moisturizing Sun Care Milk. This one is also a chemical sunscreen. It gives SPF 50 plus, very high protection, UVA, UVB, full spectrum. It also gives a full hours for the resistance, dermatologically tested. So it's a super, super lovely velvet finished sunscreen, like the name suggested. It gives that a bit of shine, similar to the Reef sunscreen, but doesn't contain any scent to it, so there's no fragrance. At least there's none that I can notice personally, and it doesn't cause any sting around my face. It works perfectly with or without makeup. Both of these giving that shine radiant glow. That it really reflects beautifully if it's a sunny day outside. That's something I so love about these two particular sunscreens. Um, I've got a sample size here. I've got 
three example size all received from Bella Box and I really enjoy receiving this from Bella Box. I love the velvet finish and I have to say keratin sunscreen can be a hit or miss. My favorite one from the brand is this one as well as the kids sunscreen. I had a thought, I feel like I love this one a little bit more personally but if you do have a more sensitive skin, the kids one is going to be your better choice because that one is fragrance free and they mention it in particular. Alright. The last but not the least, it's something that I had a bit of controversial recently, not this particular product, but it's this line. It's coming from the Neutrogena, their Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus with a Helioplex Support Spectrum UVA UV protection. So Helioplex is their own technology. It's for the face and the body, it's lightweight clean feel, 4 hours water resistance and they also do donation for skin and cancer foundation here in Australia. I did not know that before but that's really good, thank you for doing that. Um, I think the one that came with the problem is their spray bottle and we've actually used it before, way before I started reviewing it so I never had to get the chance to talk about it even in my empties. Luckily this was due past the test and all the regulations, they didn't found anything throughout this particular product. So this is a really good dry touch finish sunscreen. I don't have many dry touch here, but a few ones that I've got are truly, absolutely dry, like fully dry touch. If you're talking about a satin finish for a sunscreen, I think this is the one that achieved that sort of just a little bit glow, you can barely tell it, but every time you look at it, it's somehow just glowy. This is the one, it's nothing too dramatic. You can surely apply it on the face and it has no trouble, no problem um, with makeup and that's causing any irritations. All of the ones here are recommended, so they're not gonna have any irritations on my skin or causing any problems, but I just found that like after a review of so many sunscreens, we don't hear those big brands. Well, obviously, I've been diving into like Australian brands in particular, but like Banana Boat, like Neutrogena, I've tested a few, even Laura Pose, I've got a few. They never make it into my top 10, so I'm super happy that I actually got two that you can purchase worldwide and they're still really good. I pretty much got like a, around more than 50 bottles of sunscreens at the moment. This year I had a count, I roughly had around 30. Last year I probably have 20 something, so it's more than 50 and I can make 10 out of them is pretty much picking my top 20%, like the best 20% of sunscreen. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it and bring some of the memories of the sunscreen that I reviewed like in the two years time. So you still like to see like a good overall comparison in between and why I like them, what's the reason why I put it in here. Next week, I'm actually thinking, since I've been having so many sunscreen, it's about time for me to do a declutter. So I wanna do a declutter with you together. I've definitely got a few that I want to get rid of and there are a few I want to give one last chance before I get rid of it. It's almost like doing the makeup thing but we're going to apply it to the sunscreen. So if you like today's content, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe down below and if you want to see next week decluttering, please subscribe so you don't miss out any future videos and maybe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it out when I post it next time. I hope you have a really, really good day and a lovely holiday whenever you're going. If you're going out, enjoy some sunshine. Don't forget to pick a sunscreen with you that protects you. Let's stay safe and stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next sunscreen or some other videos. Bye!